M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Uniden 125 XLT scanner. Let's enter a frequency. The first thing you want to do is push the search button here. Okay, then press hold at the top. You'll see it says hold there. Then type in the frequency you want. So we'll just go one, four, uh, let's do a common one. One, four, let's just delete that again. One, four, five. Dot 500, that's quite a common one, isn't it? Then we'll hit the hold again. Once you've done that, you've got the frequency in there. So let's save it to a memory. So we'll go function, enter, and we'll go save frequency, enter. And then we can choose a number. So let's, let's choose number 12, because we haven't used that one yet. And we'll go enter. We've got the little yes here for you enter or no, the dot is no. Enter. And if we want, we can tag it. We'll go enter. And we'll go enter again. And we'll start oh, enter. And we'll start turning the channel knob. So that one is called actually called S20 in the ham radio world. S. And then we'll go back. We can select numbers. There you go, two, took a while, didn't it? 20, and then enter. So that's it, we've got it, and then we can turn it, and now you know you can turn it to the bottom, you can select using the enter button, but remember that pushing down on the volume button is also enter. And there you are, we have the, the memory in now, and from that memory, we could still scan it. Watch, if we just click search here, it carries on searching. Click hold. So if we want to look back at our memory channels, go to scan. Hit scan. I know there's a channel talking there. Press hold. And then look. You can scan. If we go to 12, hopefully it's there. There it is there. So that's our saved channel. Or we can just click scan. And it will just scan around our those few memory channels. And it's actually scanning bank one. How do we choose a different bank? If you look at it, it says bank one, and we've actually got bank nine lit there, so it would scan that as well. We can unselect nine just by pushing nine. So see the way it's listening to bank one now? We can unselect that bank just by pushing one. Look, we've, we've stopped scanning it. So if you get the idea that each number is a different bank or a different frequency band, so if we just press number eight, we're now going to scan. Let's do that again. We need to press eight one more time. Everything that's eight, but there's nothing programmed in eight. So if we unselect eight and put in one, we're back there. So if, if it's empty, you can't scan the memory channel. You could scan it, I would, I would say, if you go back to the search method. If you go search, hold. Type in a completely different frequency. Let's do uh, 50 megahertz. So we go 050.000. Hold. Look, 50 megahertz. Search. And it starts to scan. And we can save that just like we did before. And then you'll, you'll press hold. There's a few shortcuts as well. Look, you've got function, step. And you can change the frequency step. See that? We can go to 10 kilohertz, and then just enter. And now when it searches, it will search in larger increments. And every time you want to stop, you can just press, it will stop on its own. You can adjust the squelch by pressing F. It's just, we might have to stop it scanning. F, you see the F always appears. Um, and then the top volume, if you go, Obviously, if you press it once, it's the volume. But if you go F, then you get the squelch. So stop the scan a minute. Go to hold. And go F. Squelch comes up. We're pushing down on the volume knob. We can adjust the squelch. And of course, if we press the squelch again, or the volume, it becomes volume as well. We can also turn off that backlight. We can go F. F appears. And the backlight will go off. Let's just do that again. We've got the backlight men menu. So F, backlight gives you your, your menu. So set the backlight. 
always on, off, on with squelch, key press, key press on squelch and then back. Let's exit that. We, this time we push down on the volume button. Now, the mistake I made was to turn off the backlight, you just press the on off look, like so. We've done step. We haven't created a priority channel, but you, you can create a, a priority channel. It's like a favorite channel. You can turn off the beeps by just pressing function and beep. We've got the beeps back on now. Another handy tip is if your battery is flat, you can just plug in your USB connector there, look. And it also, this connects you to the PC as well. And you can plug into your PC for software and for charging. And it's a five, I've looked at the power supply. It's a five watt power supply. So most of us are gonna have a USB five watt and even the one that comes with it is one amp. I prefer two amp and, and one amp seems fine. I'll put some links in for the free software you can use as well. Another shortcut, shortcut you've got is the close call feature. You go function, then hit this, and you've got all these close call. Close call, and I'm inexperienced with close call, means you can tell it to receive the things that are nearer to you first, the stronger signals. And I can see why, because if you're in a, a big city and there's a lots of signals everywhere, and you're just interested in the ones in the, in the, the near you know, first couple of miles from you. And there's lots of settings within this, which I've never used. So if we just look, look at this one, close call mode, we'll go enter. And you can turn it on and off. You've got DND, which I believe stands for do not disturb, priority, close call only, and back. So different settings there. And to exit, just turn down and go to back, push down on that. Close call bands, you can actually select close call items individually. So we go to aircraft, or just pushing down, close call band on off. So you can create, and I've not done this, but a group of channel, a group of saved channels that are only close call. So I don't want, I'm not gonna use close call for now. Aircraft VHF one and two, 800 megahertz. 25 megs, you know, it's pretty good. It gives you an idea of all the bands that this, this device covers. And I, you know, I really like this, the whole scanner thing. I've been a ham radio operator and I've used CB uh, 10 meters and 11 meters for many, for many, many years. Um, and so really I've only just begun looking at scanners and I've got this one here. I've got a budget base station one and then I've got a super duper one coming called the Uniden ST, SD200, which you'll really like. Uh, as well, because I really want to learn, uh, you know, because ultimately my interest is in radio communication, even if it's just receiving, shortwave listening, wherever it's coming from, I'm interested in it. That, that's really my interest right from a young child. So anyway, so back to this. Now, one thing I haven't learned is this function here. So if we come out of this, go back, come out again, we'll look at that menu, enter, back out is this one here s r c h no get it right so i o so go function i o let's just lock in the keypad but there is another function within that that i saw earlier let's try it again function no it's not there you know we'll skip that we'll go function and then mod and here you can change between am and fm watch function mod See that is switching between AM and FM. That is in the menu as well, I notice. If we go enter, you've got this long menu at the top for entering frequency, edit, which is naming channels. You can set the CTCSS, you know, for repeaters. The set modulation is the AM, FM one. Priority channel, set a delay. So when it stops after finding something, you can set that. Let's go enter, look, we've got it for two seconds. Let's just change it to one. Enter, and it actually, I, sh I noticed that it was just showing bank one there. Unlock all channels. I'm not actually sure what that does, but I'm gonna enter it and go yes. Let's see what I notice after. We can delete a channel, that's self-explanatory, and clear a whole bank. For example, if you enter, Look, we could clear that bank, but I've got memory channels in there, so I'm not going to do that now. So I'll go no for the for there. Down one, then dot. Let's go back to the scan. 
and then hold. Looks like everybody's cleared, Dave. The volume and the audio is excellent. I go like this. Oh, sorry, I just double with you. Who's that? That's Hubnet. I don't know whether this radio actually works. It got you, you've obviously heard me. It's Mike Juan Bravo, Sierra Zulu. Uh, looks like everybody's clear. Really good speaker. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised how good this is because really this is old tech. This has been out a few years. It's using AA rechargeable A batteries. We have, you know, we don't get that these days. We get lithium, don't we? So let's see what else we can see. I'll just show you. Obviously, I told you about the micro USB. Let's take off the battery pack. Look, AA batteries, and I've got myself a little battery charger that cost me £4.99 from Amazon just to charge. I've got spare batteries here already. Be nice if, I mean, the plastic is a bit thin on that, but I'm sure you can buy spares. And look, to take the back off, it's four screws. So very, you know, very tempting. <laughs> nice strong belt clip and a, a carry thing there, carry strap. So the idea eventually is to use in the UK repeater search UK and then to get all the banks in of the of the airports and anything near me military marine railway police wh whatever I can legally listen to is to get that into this radio using the software because it's going to take all day but you can you know copy and paste one at a time if you want repeater search just put in repeater search UK and there's one in the USA, I think it's called, uh, let me just find what it's called. Yeah, I found it. it's Radio Reference UK and there is a 15 penny a subscription if you want all the extra bits, but that, you know, you can join for free and there's quite a lot of help for free. So that's the UK. In America, they're using radioreference.com and there's, you know, the, the frequencies they have because America is such a, you know, vast, busy country. Is, is is fantastic you know and i've i've actually been on it and i i do want to actually program this radio with the american stuff just so i can look at it uh which looks very doable with the software but to me that that's for a separate video so i've been watching 2e0ukh's video digital analog ham thank you very much to chris and that's helped me uh with with learning some of these items and i'm just watching then about this lockout function you can lock a function out if you press it briefly apparently it will lock it temporarily, then unlock it. If you hold it, there you are, you can unlock it. So that's a function that I, I'm not familiar with as well. Now to manually add a channel, you need to make sure that hold is highlighted, then push enter. You go hold, enter, so it's hold is highlighted, we're on the search menu, then you go enter, so hold, just keep doing this, we'll go scan, then hold, then we'll enter the frequency. So we'll say we want to put it into channel 8, then enter, then we'll enter the frequency, push enter again. So we'll go one, two, six, hundred, for example, dot. That's, a, that's an airband frequency. Then we'll press enter. Now press hold, I think, first. Hold. No, it is enter. Then we'll tag it. Down one click with the volume control. Enter. I'm going to give it a name. So we'll just call it A for now, for air. Enter. And then exit and that's how you add a channel turn down you can push down if you want to exit so we've now see the way it's named a a the one we just did so that's how you basically add a memory channel very similar to what we did at the beginning so you know really getting a feel for this it's taken me about a day because the way i was thinking was like a like a dual band vhf uhf bofun type radio or a you know like the normal handhelds that we get uh, like VHF, uh, UHF, D star, C for M. So this, the whole way that this ticks is different, and it takes a bit of getting used to. And you've got to do it over and over again, and it starts to sink in. But it does take a while, because once I've got my head around this scanner, then I can um, learn the other scanners that we've got coming. Uh, so thanks for watching my channel. Hope this helps you. If you're if you're like a, a new person like me, a beginner, uh, and gives you a you know a guide to um, using this device. 
thanks for watching my channel. Drop me a message because every time I get a message, even if I don't know the answer, it's fine because that's when I'm going to go off, learn the answer and teach myself how to do it and enjoy my radios more. And then if that helps you as well, thank you for watching. So please remember to like and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.